Hey there, how is it going? I'm having a nice Sunday because I'm cleaning my apartment after having a party last night here. Just a little party, not a big deal. And I got inspired for some reason now, seemed like the right time to film this video I've been meaning to do, even though I'm only halfway through cleaning up the mess. So you're gonna have to forgive me if there's dishes and stuff in the background, but I wanted to do a video showing you the DIYs and art projects I've done so far in my apartment. The reason I want to do this is because I'm planning on updating a lot of my apartment. I've lived here for almost a full year now and I've done what I can with these gray walls and gray floors and chrome kitchen to uh, align with my colorful, fun aesthetic. But the time has come and I actually need to paint some walls and do like some bigger things. So I'm gonna do some videos about that later. I mentioned that in a vlog recently, but uh, in the meantime, I want to show you what I've done already. So I've done some small projects that were mostly like pretty affordable and just like making over pieces of furniture and stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. And also a couple of big art pieces that I have around that um, just kind of add to my vibe. Does that sound cool? Now let me give you a little tour around and just show you the pieces I want to feature and we'll just talk about it and I'll tell you what I did to make them. Not exactly like a DIY video because I've already DI'd the it why myself. DI myself, no? It's not a DIY video because I already did it all, but uh, that's okay. I'll still tell you what uh, went into it. Maybe I'll inspire you uh, with some cool apartment friendly upgrades. I don't know. Okay, let me just show you what I did and then you can tell me what you think. Tell me your favorite thing or tell me whatever. I don't know, or don't tell me anything. <laughs> let me just move the camera around. So this shelf is the first thing I wanna show you. It is a old wooden bookshelf that I redecorated a little bit with the help of my dad because we found this bookshelf in a, they, my parents bought a cottage that was full of really spooky stuff. Um, and they had to completely like take everything out of it. Um, and this was one of the things that was in it that was very, very spooky and housed a lot of uh, spiders um, or deceased spiders. It, it did at one point serve as a home for many spiders. But anyways, uh, it was brown with like a wooden backing. And uh, I just painted the outside of it this bright canary yellow color, which is really cute. It's very, um, it's like a, it's not a very, what am I trying to say? It's not super well constructed. Like it's a very sturdy shelf, but it was clearly made by someone with like moderate carpentry skills out of scraps, which is cool. Uh, it just it means it's a very irregular. That's what I'm looking for. It's like an irregular build. And for the back, I pulled off the backing board and I applied contact paper. That is this like blue and yellow um, sort of traditional print, which I think is really cute. The contact paper was just from the Dollarama. So yeah, the Paint, paint was like, I don't remember how much the paint was. It wasn't a huge container. I also have a chair painted the same color over there. Um, but yeah, so this was like a $30 project probably because it was a free shelf. Um, and I just love it. There's also like, this is not staged for like, well, there's, there's a plant in the way. I mean, there's like stuff on the shelves, but I haven't organized it in a way that's cute or relevant yet. Like there is a vintage ice cream maker um, here that I got thrifting that's in perfect shape. I just haven't used it to make ice cream yet. There's this, which is the base of a sculpture for, it's, it's a donut that I sculpted that I need to paint uh, still, <laughs> but it just looks like a weird circle. I have a pile of leaves, um, but they've been dipped in beeswax. So they're like, they smell really nice. They're like preserved leaves from last autumn. I don't know, I, I haven't organized this. So one of the things I wanna do like in my big DIY project makeover. I really want to focus on my office and my studio space for that, but um, the rest of my place can get some love too. So I'll, I'll make this look cute. I do have some teacups on it that were my grandma's. So I might do more of like a teacup station. Yeah. This is another thing that's really cool that I can't really get the right angle to show you. Wait, I'm just going to pick it up. This is a lamp. Um, <laughs> I'm doing a really bad job of showing it off. This is a lamp that my brother helped me redo to look like a mushroom. Uh, it was just a metal top and like a thin skinny base and he built this armature over top to look like a mushroom stock and then I painted the top and he did flocking with the uh, green stuff on the bottom and then the pull tags is a little froggy and a little uh, ladybug. These were ornaments on an Easter tree that we had growing up as kids. So yeah, this is really cute. Um, I love this lamp, but it gets very dusty. But yeah, I don't have it plugged in because there's no plug over here. Oh yeah, there is one. Maybe I'll plug it in. 
Not right now though, but soon. Okay, this is where I have all my tea. Um, I painted this shelf purple so it would be cuter, which I think worked. And all of these containers are really pretty and decorative. I got a lot of them when I was visiting England, which I do like every two years. So um, they're not super, uh, tea doesn't expire, right? <laughs> Anyways, I have like some Fortnite and Masons. Um, that's pretty much what that is. I like Tetley. This is from Betty's um, in Yorkshire. And then I have like Canadian teas up there, a couple local ones, and this is from PEI. So that's my tea collection. And I have some art beside it, which um, this one is by a local artist who I love, but I, I didn't do this one. And this is a clipping from a magazine at some point, but I painted the frame white. Actually, no, it's actually really well secured. I can't take it off to show you. But I painted the frame white and then I brushed the detail with pink. So it's like the raised detail around the frame is pink. I've done a lot of frame customization around my place. Um, I have more of that I can show you. But I think this is cute and livens up this wall of my kitchen. <laughs> this dresser, wait, where's the best place for me to stand for this? Okay, this is a better height. This dresser I have decorated with polka dots. It is very cute. Um, these polka dots I got off AliExpress a million years ago for a wall I was gonna do. And then I decided that since all my walls were gray, the gold dots would look kind of weird. So I put them all over this Ikea dresser, which was just plain white. And I think it's very fun and whimsical. Sorry, can you even see it? That's what it looks like. It has my TV on it. This is in my room. And yeah, there's not that much to say about that one, but I put polka dots on my dresser and they're removable. Um, they're just stickers and I've peeled them off before and repositioned them. So I know they come off easy and they don't damage it. So, so very cute, very renter friendly, or like if I want to resell this, I could take all the stickers off, you know? Okay. That's, that one's pretty self-explanatory. Speaking of stickers, and I know I'm out of focus, the uh, air conditioning unit up there has eyelashes on it. And when the mouth opens, it's like, it's really cute. The eyelash stickers were like a freebie that came with the polka dots I ordered. So I just put them on there. And it does look like they're slightly off center when I look at it on the camera, but we're just not gonna worry about that. She's cute how she is. So I made this gallery wall behind me before I had the big TV, hence why this is kind of blocking it. But I still think it's cute. It's like a diamond shape. You see, it looks like a diamond shape layout. And I have, uh, so a lot of these pictures are ones that I've collected when I was traveling. There's two Ikea ones, that one and that one. I know that one's upside down. If you notice, you don't have to tell me. I, I know I put it upside down. Um, but most of them are ones from traveling or people I've met and I they're very sentimental for me. So I wanted to put them up. I did most of the frames. Oh, this one actually is um, vintage. My friend who runs a vintage shop, uh, I bought it from her. It's a little cross stitch, but everything else, um, I did the frames. So like these little ones, I, they were just the 99 cent black plastic frames from Ikea. I painted them colors. And then I put gold wrapping paper behind the little postcard because the postcards were too small for the frame. So that was my creative idea. And the other frames, if they aren't colorful already, like these two were colorful when I bought them, I put washi tape on them, which I think is a great hack. I've done a lot of frames in washi tape, which just makes them look really cute. Let me show you them up close. Um, like that one is just a white frame with that like patterned washi tape around it. Um, that's like the gold paper behind the postcard and like that frame as well. That's a print my friend did. Uh, I just did washi tape on it and I think it made it cute. And there's that cross stitch. Do you love it? Cause I love it. I thought it was so sweet. And yeah, that's my whole, that's my little gallery wall. So I'm going to maybe reorient it so it doesn't get blocked as much by the TV, but not bad. This is another, um, little shelf that I did. It's not very complicated DIY because all I did was put um, paper in the backing of this. This is an Ikea shelf thing. Obviously it's got my TV on it. I got these two bins at uh, HomeSense and I was going to paint them. They're like fabric, but I was going to paint them because I didn't like the color, but now that they're there, I've kind of grown to like them. And uh, the paper in the back is actually gift wrap that I just like laid and used painter's tape to wrap around the backing board before I attached it and put it on there. So I could definitely remove it if I wanted, like again, if I was gonna get rid of it or wanted to redo it, but it's just like a rainbow striped paper. And I think it's cheerful because I get to see it when I'm sitting here playing games or watching TV. And that suitcase has a record player in it and there's just some records and I keep all my like switch uh, and game controller stuff down below. This is the end of my counter and it's like a white laminate 
countertop material. And I just thought that instead of painting the whole kitchen, I would just put some contact paper on here. Again, this is from the Dollarama, so it was like $3 and it was just one roll, did this whole space. And yeah, it's underneath is like shiny and cabinet-like, so it won't be hard to remove. Um, if, by the way, if you are removing this stuff, just use a hair dryer to warm it up and then peel it really slowly and carefully and it, it won't be bad. And I, I, like, I have a big bottle of goo gone too if there was a problem with it, but I'm not planning on moving anytime soon. So I'm just like enjoying my cute world. But I thought this was really clever. And then my landlords came in and they thought it was really cute as well. So that was nice that they weren't just like, oh, why'd you put stickers all over your kitchen? It was more like, oh, you put stickers all over your kitchen. We love it. This was actually like the first thing I did when I moved in. So yeah, I love this one. So this whole wall is kind of cute, but not really like finished. I just kind of have put things together here. So this is a big painting I did. Uh, obviously it is a bug. I think it's very vibrant and cheers up the space a lot. I have thought about painting over it several times just to reuse the canvas, but I found some canvases on a big sale recently somewhere. So I might go pick those up and then spare this one. So um, I like my beetle. I also, this is a shelf I think I might paint. I'm not going to paint like every wooden thing I own, but this is another one of those like pieces I saved from that spooky cottage. So it's not in great shape. Uh, it might be cute or pink, so TBD. But I have currently um, like all my cuties on it. So these are all stuffed animals I've been given, which I love. Um, and they're all very precious and sentimental to me. And then uh, this is a vase that I made out of paper mache, um, which is a craft that I want to do more of because I like sculpting with paper. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll do some DIYs about that. I don't know, it's a cute vase though. It's got um, some koi fish on it. And I've got a candelabra that looks like Lumiere um, from Beauty and the Beast. And I have my yellow chair that I mentioned, same paint as the shelf with another big cutie on it. Obviously there's a few things in this little tableau that are ruining the vibe, such as my Google Home, uh, my Roomba, which is not being plugged in, and then a box full of hand sanitizer. So. Um, some functionality and some cute. This would probably be a good wall to paint actually because I don't want to paint the whole apartment because eventually I'm going to move out one day and I don't want to have to repaint everything but I want to do some feature walls and this could be a good one because it's only basically what you see here from like the edge of the door to the wall. Yeah okay maybe we'll paint this one. Here's another DIY I did. This is a little mirror that I got at Ikea from the kids section. It was like four or five dollars and it has like it's like the it's pretty cheap mirror it's like really warped I don't know if you can see how warped I look in it but it has like a white plastic frame around it that was perfect for hot gluing flowers and birds so that's on the door of my laundry room but I think it's pretty cute um it's sort of the only colorful thing in an otherwise really boring entranceway so yeah that's another one so I think that's actually it. I didn't actually do as many DIYs around here as I thought I did, but it's not always about things that I've customized. Like I've pulled in lots of pieces that are interesting. I have a really cool floor to ceiling tension lamp, a vintage one that I cleaned up that I have don't have out, but I'll include that in my like office makeover, studio makeover. I've been trying to get cuter pillows. I got this like bug one. A lot of my stuff is from Ikea, I will admit. Ikea and thrifting are pretty, and, and home sense are pretty much it for me. I hope those DIYs give you a sense of like my vibe because that's what I'm going to try and throw all over the walls when I do my makeover here. And I just want it to feel cheerful, especially because the summer is ending. And like I spend a ton of time on my balcony in the summer. Like I have really nice chairs out there and it's like very cute with my plants. But winter is coming and I'm going to be seasonally depressed and not feeling good. But I need to stay creative and like keep having fun and being happy. Um, crazy idea, I know, right? But it is conducive to my work. So I want to get ahead of that by making my home extra cute for this next upcoming year. The great thing is I already have a lot of the stuff I want to use for my makeover. I don't even, it's, yeah, it is like a makeover for my studio at least. Like I have new curtains I want to put up. I've been just like thrifting stuff gradually over the last year and just haven't put it all together yet. I have a ton of art prints. I probably need some more frames. So maybe we'll go to the thrift store together. Um, just do a little bit of shopping to try and pull it together, which I get is like a little bit of a deviation from like my art tutorial channel, but that's okay. That's like, if you're watch if, if you're watching this video at this point, then you're here for the like creative life stuff too. And I appreciate that because I'm not just a tutorial machine. I also like sharing other things. Um, yeah. 
but I've never really done a proper makeover of a space. Like everything I've lived in for the past decade has always been like, I've only lived in rentals. Like I've never owned a home, but it was like, I was a student for a really long time. So I was moving like every year. So I didn't do anything permanent. And then I just like lived with a partner for a few years and that was nice. But so like, it was much more of like compromise, but now this space is just mine and I'm making it as cute as I possibly want to possibly can. Yeah. So that being said, what do you think I should do? Should I start with like mood boards? Probably right. And then figure out all the things that I already have and then what I need and then incorporate it. I've already kind of convinced my mom to help me paint. So that's good. I don't have to do that all by myself. Actually, she was very excited when I asked her to. And I already have all the furniture I need. So, and it's, there's no furniture being acquired. I say that I may end up acquiring furniture, um, but I'm not planning on it. Like I have this couch here. This is getting outside of the studio realm. I'm just basically talking to you like you like I was on the phone with you right now, um, <laughs> blabbing about my plans. I love this couch. Um, it's really comfy, it fits my space. Um, it's great proportions and everything, but it's brown. And I don't want a big brown couch, but it's got kind of like a leaf pattern. So it's not terrible, but I would like to get a slip cover for it. I think that would help it like live longer. Cause like, you know, when I have people over, like we're all sitting on the couch and everything, I think it would increase the length of the survival of this couch and also make it look nicer. So maybe I'll be doing some slip cover stuff. I could try doing upholstery. My mom does upholstery. So I feel like I could just ask her and I don't mind if I do a bad job, if it's just my stuff. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyways, thank you for watching this video with me and hanging out and looking at the DIYs I've done. Tell me what you think I did a really bad job or a really good job on. Um, but be nice about it because um, I, I'm very tender. <laughs> well, I better go finish cleaning up from the party. Uh, there's still some dishes and I see my mixers out because I make cinnamon rolls when my friends come over for parties. Uh, we're watching like a pay-per-view. So it was like cinnamon rolls and snack platters because I like to be a nice host. But that does mean I have a million dishes and uh, leftover cinnamon rolls to deal with. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. All right, I hope you have a great day wherever you are. I hope your space is cute where you are. And if not, well, maybe we can live vicariously together and make mine cute. <laughs> All right, cool, whatever. Bye. Bye.